In the beginning, Aladdin lamps were created by Victor S. Johnson in 1908. There's a picture of him. And he got the name for his lamp. He called it Aladdin um, based on the childhood stories that he read growing up. You probably heard stories about Aladdin and his magic lamps. So that's how he came up with um, the name for his lamp. So some interesting facts. There's really a lot of them, but I pulled out a couple of my favorites. Um, but just starting at the beginning in 1909 when they first um, started selling the Aladdin lamps, you could get a open flame kerosene lamp, just a regular flat wick lamp for 25 cents back in 1909, compared to what Aladdin's were selling at about 450 or $7. So that's quite a difference. <laughs> and so you can imagine their job was trying to sell those lamps that cost a lot more. What were the benefits? You know, what, what were they getting different with an Aladdin to spend that much money on? Um, so there's kind of a picture of um, some of the early advertising of a couple of their early lamps that uh, cost between $4.50 and $7. Um, another interesting fact, in 1926, um, they actually had their factory, it was on a 13-acre site, and they actually incorporated that into a village. Um, they called it Aladdin, and they had 22 residents there. Um, it was actually the smallest town in Indiana at the time, so they actually had a little village called Aladdin. By the 1930s, there were about 15,000 franchise agents, and they sold about 7 million lamps. So back in that time, that sounds like a lot to me. So they must have been really good at what they were, uh, what they were selling. So some of the early things they did to sell and merchandise their lamps, they actually had traveling agents that would go door to door, and they would carry a case. It looked similar to this, so it would have their lamp in there and it would have all the little bits and pieces. And so they would travel around and they would actually look for homes that had flickering yellow lights. They knew that those were regular flat wick lamps and they knew that those people need an Aladdin. So they would stop door to door and they would actually tell them that they could keep the lamp overnight for free to try it out. They would come back and see if they wanted to buy it. And the majority of them actually did. After trying it just for one night, they saw the benefit and they decided to purchase it after that. Um, another thing they did was they had trade-ins. So they had um, kind of going back to the old Aladdin story where they had new lamps for old. They kind of did the same thing. They said, you know, if you have this old lamp that's not going to work as well, we, you know, trade it in, we'll give you an Aladdin. And they also offered a thousand dollar reward if you could match an Aladdin lamp if you could find something comparable and they had a list of criteria if you could find a lamp that matched every single one of those criteria they'd give you a thousand dollars which they never did <laughs> they never found one that matched that um, all the criteria of an Aladdin so I pulled out some of my favorite early merchandise um, advertisements they used Santa Claus in their ads they said make it a memorable Christmas by giving an Aladdin and they'll remember you for years to come um, they even came up with a little rhyme about a lad in need on how to say Aladdin. They talked about how much money you could actually save by burning with an Aladdin lamp because the lamp was more efficient. So the old lamp that you're burning with is not as bright and it's using more fuel. One of the early ones here, it says Stranger Than Fiction, talks about um, Victor S. Johnson looking for people to actually sell his lamps and so he would send you one for free if you were the first person in your area to have one and you could help him introduce it in different localities. One of my favorite ones is targeting parents of children saying you're ruining your child's eyes by having such a dim light. So you need to have an Aladdin so that you save, that their, save their eyesight. Uh, it talks about being um, nice for reading and sewing pleasure. It's also easy on the pocketbook. But my favorite, be wise, save your eyes, Aladdin eyes. <laughs> Lots of different things they did to try to um, sell their lamps.